Now, many small farms in South Korea are adopting smart technologies in a bid to boost profits and their yields as well. Industry insiders view this trend as a potential way to tackle the diminishing workforce in rural areas and also potentially help uh, tackle the aging society here in South Korea. Jo Sung Min with the details. This is a small vegetable farm located on the outskirts of South Korea's capital city, Seoul. Renowned for the variety of produce it offers among other small firms in the area, the farm was able to increase profits and net income substantially. The farm owner says the secret to their recent success stems from the original smart farm facilities and growth medium they developed, which allowed them to grow over 30 different farm goods. These resources were instrumental in reducing overall costs as well. Thanks to the outcome of the two-decade-long experiment, we can now raise all our vegetables using one single growth medium. Although the strawberry farm may look no different from others, it is equipped with an array of original harvesting technologies. Its unique strawberry seedlings and self-developed harvesting techniques have increased seedling production threefold. The shortened yield span has generated them much more profits, too. The development of various agricultural techniques has increased our profits. We plan to share these with other farms and grow together. According to government data, the number of small-sized agriculture firms and farms using original and smart methods has spiked from 15,000 in 2011 to some 90,000 last year. These small farms, making an average of 10 percent more profit than ordinary farms, are making the most of the government-funded support and education programs. We will strive to play a pivotal role in fostering our agricultural sector by continuously searching for small, smart farms and providing proper business consultations and online marketing support. Industry experts say these small-sized smart agriculture enterprises could be South Korea's solution to the constantly diminishing rural workforce and aging society. Cho Sung-min, Arirang News.